the 2014 World 2020 in Bangladesh was very special uh, again. I mean, I said you know, every tournament was special, but this was much more so because it was going to be uh, my last T20 World Cup. Uh, it was going to be Mahalaja Vardhana's last 2020 World Cup. So for us to go to Bangladesh, where cricket is followed with such, such passion, where huge crowds come to each game, where they back their side to be world beaters, uh, where the Bangladeshi Tigers um, have shown to be giant killers on their day, um, we knew again it was going to be a, a great tournament with a lot of the subcontinental sides becoming the favourites um, to win it. And we knew for certain that we were among those favourites. The night before the final, we um, were talking in our team meeting. Um, and this was you know, quite an emotional um, game for, for Mahila and myself. Uh, it was our last game um, in Sri Lankan colours. Uh, in the in this particular format, um, so they played a, a little tribute video just before we went to the ground um, with, with you know the two of us and and our batting together and and you know um, you know a, a wonderful little video clip uh, just to say thank you from the team to us. So we were very moved by it, and you know it was with that emotion that we left to the ground. Sri Lanka. Just as we had planned, um, we, we get to feel first. <clears throat> Angela Matthews bowled a very tight line to start with. Uh, got a Jinky Rahane bowled, but Virat Kohli and, um, and Rohit Sharma uh, started building quite a good partnership. Sharp down the ground from Sharma, that'll be four. Was interested for a while. We got Rohit Sharma caught at short extra cover. Rohit Sharma's got. Yuvraj Singh walked in. And uh, for some reason, um, Yuvraj on that day struggled to time the ball or to score runs with, with any fluency. And that really allowed us to, to get back into the game big time. And the pressure was always on Kohli then to, uh, to score. 50 for Virat Kohli, hard working 50. Fourth and five innings in this tournament. It's come up 43 balls, but he's held the innings together. Well played. Full toss. He's had no timing all day. It was only a matter of time. Not a great innings from you, Brad Singh. Comes to an end. Um, MS Dhoni walked in with, I think, about five overs or four overs to go. And again, the, the best dead bowling that I've ever seen in my life. Death bowler Malinga against the great finisher Dhoni. And at the moment, the death bowler is winning from both ends. I mean, I've seen Waka Yunus and Wasi Makram bowl, bowl death in, in any format of the game, but the overs from Kulasekara and Lasit Malinga to two of the, the biggest hitters and two of the best finishers in, in, in the shorter version. Um, I've, I've never seen anything like that before or since. No, you can't get the helicopter shot away. 24 Yorkers on the spot, ball after ball. Outstanding, Lassif Malinga, they're all trying to come back for two. They do come back for two, direct hit, they'll go upstairs. He's gone this time. Brilliant cricket from Sri Lanka in the last five overs. And walking into the dressing room after that, we knew the momentum was with us, and we knew that all we needed was a good start and two quality partnerships for us to become world champions. That's a glide. It's glide over the keeper's head. Well played. Sensibly played. I think that was the Karen ball then, and it's going to go all the way for six, is it? No, what a catch! Great catch from that man, Virat Kohli. Right on the fence, good balance, good match awareness. We got off to quite a decent start, and we were going well above the rate. Um, then we lost a couple of wickets, um, and I walked into bat. And so he helps it on his way, he prefers the ball spinning in. 
You see the confidence across his stumps. 50 up for Sri Lanka. Hit hard, hit high, and hit for six. I had my rhythm back, I had my confidence back, and it's a case of then just batting. Gone as he, yes. He needed a wicket, he got a wicket. One man to find Ashwin at mid-wicket. And the danger man has gone for the last time in a T20 game. Mahela Jaya Wardner leaves centre stage. Mahela got out um, and Thisara Pereira came, uh, walked into bat. Um, and we slowly started to build the partnership that was going to take us home. That's soaring into the night sky. As we got closer and closer to that target, you know, everyone in the dressing room, us in the middle, our emotions were, were just getting the better of us. And I remember thinking, you know, we just got to keep calm here, talking to Tissero about you know, just keeping calm, keeping positive, hitting those balls. Now he's found the gap again. Could this be the over? Because he's gone back to Mishra after an expensive one, down to 23 now at runner ball. That, that might run away too. It does. Now Sri Lanka just one blow away. Even, the, even Sangakara is giving himself a little skip here. 50 for Kumara Sangakara. What a time to get a half century. But when I got to my 50, <clears throat> I don't think it even registered. I can't remember it registering in my head because all we're thinking about is get into that total, get into that total. They've tried so hard, so many times in the finals. This is their day, and just watch the celebration. One of the greatest in the game. Kumar Sangakkara finally gets his opportunity under the lights here at Mirpur in Dhaka. You know, this was the moment that we've waited for since 2007 to win a World Cup in any format. Um, this was what we were here to do. Uh, coming through all the, the, the trials, the, 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 the troubles, and to finally stand there with a World Cup victory, not just for us, but for all of Sri Lanka. You know, we had 20 million plus, you know, frustrated final after final, and here we were, um, having won it. We finally got over the line.